Why I choose the way I do. So the first thing we're going to do is demonstrate a fall. So I'm going to you lay down, so the force goes red. This is why throne can go back. If you hop into this position here, you're up, and you lose your balance, and you fall forward, it happens really fast. Really fast. You get hurt really bad. Actually. This is one of the worst ways people have gotten hurt. So because of that falling forward really fast, that means scare you. You look a little intimidated. <laughs> what you want to do as a flyer is watch Ami. She has her hands up. Very oh, good. She's going to keep her hands up in case I, if I do fall forward, she's able to support some of my fall. Okay? So we don't just collide heads. So I'm going to have you up. I'm going to demo how to get in the throne. From that, I am breaking on down. Okay? Because it's such a high fall, I start everything really low first. I'm going to start it from this angle on my stomach. This is called belly basing. So instead of basing this way, this is an L shape. We're going to base with a stomach on the ground. So Ami's going to actually turn around. She's going to sit on my leg. This simulates throwing up high because my toes are towards her front thighs. She's going to wrap her legs around my shin. This is called a hook. So the reason why we practice this low is because if she falls the front, the other side. Actually gonna wrap around the front on me because that simulates what throne looks like. Yeah. We do this because if she falls, she knows how to you see what happens there? Her knees hit the ground. So when you feel like you're falling, the same things that keep you safe, these hooks, you have, you're gonna have to unwrap them really quick. That's why we start really low so it's not that big an uh, impact, okay? So we start here. Feel this while Juan. See how this feels for you, how kind of stable that is. Watch her wrap. She gets to wrap in front of the shin. A common mistake is to wrap the other way. This way, it prevents you from falling back. Watch, she can't fall backwards. She can fall forwards, but backwards, she keeps her stomach. So we practice low first so she knows what the fall is like. If there's a fall, she brings her hands down and she's going to unwrap her feet. Okay. Yes, so that's uh, doing on a belly base. From there, we go up a little higher. So what's the next level? It's not this, it's going to be my arms. My arms are a little shorter than my legs. So I'm going to have her just walk over. Sit on my hands here. She's gonna wrap one foot around my forearm and then the other side. So we practice here at low this way. So in case there's a fall, she learns how to raise and unwrap. I would even unwrap my legs even sooner. So the moment you feel that fall, you wanna unwrap as soon as you can because those wraps, once you have them wrapped in, not only can you hurt your knees, but you can hurt your base by wrapping around the knees too. So you've got to, the moment you feel that fall, your base can stay down or oh shit. Any variation of that, you, you know that something's about to happen. Unwrap your feet right away. That's why we start really low, okay? And then finally, once you get comfortable with that height, we're going to do the highest one, which I've seen people mount this way, the throne. This is actually kind of awkward because of all of these pushing. I like starting from behind this way. So she's just standing here by my head around here. I'm going to lift my hips up, put my foot on her butt, grab her ankles, and then push up. Or actually you, since you're a dude, grab his ankles, push up, and then from there, grab the bottom of the feet and get into easy throne. And then from there, if you want, you can transition over to, to a straddle throne when your feet are wrapped. But learn how to do that first. Again, one more demonstration going on here. This is as important. If she's too close here, it's going to be hard for me to get my feet underneath. However, maybe about a foot away. Have your flyer about a foot away. Get your feet up on her butt. And then bend at the legs. Push up with the legs and the arms at the same time. So you have four points of contact. And then from there, we'll slowly walk over and walk over. Remember, there's a fall. Bring your feet and your hands down. Anything that you can do to help, let's do one more fall. For me, falling is just as important as being able to do it. If you can fall well, then that just means that you get to do it again. And life is like a video game. If you can have as many try agains as possible, you're going to get better. But the moment you get hurt, you know, you're, you'll have a different feeling towards it because you'll be like, is it worth getting hurt just to do some silly stunts, you know? But it can be a really beautiful practice if you learn how to fall well. And falling is like one of the biggest parts of acro, and I find one of the most fun parts if you do it well. If she's falling, I'm bending my legs, so I'm lowering that height. I'm gonna, if there's a fall, I'm bending my legs, and then making it not so high for her or him. Okay, let's go ahead and try it out, all the different variations of it, and then ask me questions as they come up. Okay.